Hey guys and welcome to River Raven Collects. Today we're finally doing it, we're finally unboxing some anime figures. So I've got four here and I've had all of these for quite a while. I've been trying to accumulate enough to be able to make a video out of. So without further ado, let's just get into it and check these figures out. All right guys, so first up we have Halloween Miku or second season autumn version if you would prefer. I've just been calling her Halloween Miku, I'm going to continue to call her that. I don't think anybody is calling her second season autumn version Miku. So anyway, we've got some nice art on the side of the box. I think that, you know, the box has just got some nice arts and just pictures of the figure. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is what they refer to as a prize figure. Someone let me know in the comments, I'm not 100% sure. As you can see there, I paid $45 for her. So overall, I think this is a good price for her, for the size. I think I may have got a discount because I bought this at Shin Tokyo and I have a membership there. So I think it may have been like $42 or something. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, let's get her out of her packaging. She's got like a slight blister box here as well as a ton of plastic around her. Uh, which is good because that's going to keep her protected of course and let's just get all this off because there is a lot of it if I can get it all here and there she is so straight off the bat I am pretty happy with the printing and everything I think that you know you can tell that some of it isn't perfect however that face this face is yeah absolutely perfect so crisp absolutely adore that face you can see the rest isn't quite up to that face standard but i think that overall she looks really really good next up we have the base and on the bottom of the box i actually had like all these characters so that was a nice little hint of what the base is going to look like and yeah i think it looks quite good i love all of these it's very light and i think it could have done with being like a tad smaller like maybe to there or something. I think this is quite a big base for this figure and we've got some writing here. Um, if you want to pause that and have a read of it I'm sure it's nothing but anyway yeah there's a couple of cracks here already. Um, well I'm not sure if they're cracks or scratches but there's just two coming off of the, where the foot slides in so that's not too good. So I'm just gonna grab Miku here and put her in the base. Usually I do this off screen because Sometimes these can go terribly wrong, and I think this is a nice simple one, so let's just see if she goes in, which she does, so that's pretty nice. You can kind of see there's a bit of a wobble to her. I think that overall it's probably to be expected. It doesn't feel loose, which is the main thing, but yeah, there definitely is a little bit of a wobble. But overall I think that, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to hold her up, it's definitely going to do the job. I don't see this like breaking in the future or anything so that's good so usually I would leave you guys with the showcase but I'm actually going to talk through it this time so let me know in the comments if you prefer this or if you prefer just going through the showcase with music but anyway so the things that I like about this figure I think the color scheme is absolutely perfect the fading of black to orange to pink is just yeah really perfect the only thing that I'd say that I dislike about the color is her hair I wish that her hair was all blue instead of having the faded whites at the end I think that it just would have worked a lot better and just looked a lot nicer so I'm quite fond of the pose I think that it's a really good pose for her I think that even though she wobbles a little bit that she's got plenty enough stability that she'll be fine 
and you can see that these white prints on her dress and as well as the hat they kind of aren't printed on that well and they're printed over the top of that color so they don't look good particularly in the back of the skirt i noticed that area particularly doesn't look too good and you can see on the hat here that it is slightly like washed out but you know this face well and truly makes up for it. it is so crisp i absolutely love this face i think it's adorable and yeah you can see where the print isn't quite right but the rest of the stuff is really really good i think that for a 44 dollar figure this is well worth your money so up next we've got the pop-up parade shiro crown version she is from no game no life and you know what i really need a company to make her brother please it has been too many years since this anime has been out and we have not gotten her brother i don't think they're ever going to do it to be honest but i would love to have a pop-up parade of him to sit next to her on the shelf i think that would be really cool but again i don't think it's going to happen For some reason they don't like making male figures all that much but yeah I, I i will still be hopeful that one day it'll happen so anyway let's get her out of her box i've got really nothing to say about the box because there's nothing on it it's literally just a clear box this is my first pop-up parade I think that the boxes could be done a little bit better to be honest <laughs> but anyway so let's get her out of our blister pack um, the tape was very hard to see on this which is why you can see me kind of struggling with it I did notice it eventually and yeah obviously cut through it but yeah that was uh, quite the surprise I thought that it should just pull apart and shouldn't be that hard but anyway so this actually fell out of the box and what this is is a bit of a stand to help hold her up because obviously she's got a lot of hair and that's a lot of plastic to kind of just hold up on one foot so here she is wrapped in plastic a lot like the miku actually which is good because it's going to keep it protected kind of don't like how they don't have the head protected but i think it's fine like i didn't notice any scuff marks or anything like that i think all of these figures don't have any of that so that's really really good so just uh, being really gentle because the plastic's actually through the back of her hair like between her so obviously you never want to pull these out and just hope for the best but here she is I love the gradient in her hair from the blue pink yellow to green and her stockings are actually quite shiny which is a, a very nice touch and there's a better look at her hair I think that her hair looks really good and keep in mind these figures are considered like reasonably cheap so yeah up next i'm just pulling the plastic off of the stand i think this stand is a nice color i'm not gonna say that the shape is very nice i do not like this hexagon shape i think that everybody who has been collecting pop-up parades has more or less complained about these uh i think they have finally changed i think because this is an old figure that yeah they've changed them to something else now thankfully i think that this one is all right the problem is if you buy multiple pop-up parades i feel like everybody notices the hexagon bases and how many there would be anyway so that's just how a hair slips in like that it actually holds it quite well and i don't think that it's going to bend or anything over time so over to the showcase i really really like this figure i think that it's a really good depiction of shiro and there's quite a few depictions of it out there i think this was around 80 to 60 dollars or something and yeah i i think it's well worth the money i think this is a really good depiction of her we obviously got this glossy finish that i already mentioned on her stockings as well as her shoes i think that's a really nice touch to kind of make you know the shoes feel like they are leather or something as well as the stockings having yeah just a slight gloss to them and then we have a nice matte finish on the dress i think that looks really cool as well as the wrinkles through it i think they probably could have added a little more detail on the wrinkles like some shading or something the hair is really good like a really nice effect like having it flow with her i will say though that the blue on the hair is very vibrant and then the other three colors aren't so much so i kind of wish that they would have that vibrancy as much as the blue i think the blue really stands out but you know it's fine 
Um, her face is pretty nice as well, very crisp, no blemishes, and yeah, just an absolutely good figure. Up next we've got our last two figures and I'm going to be unboxing them together because they kind of go together. These are from Evangelion of course and these are marketed as ultra detailed figures. So there's actually three in the set. I did not pick up Lilith because I kind of don't really like the whole cross thing. Um, yeah, you can see that this is officially licensed. It's got the Evangelion official license sticker on there. But yeah, back to Lilith didn't want to pick her up because uh, yeah didn't I don't know I feel funny about having a uh, depiction of something on a cross like that so yeah I didn't pick her up but I would like to see that figure and see like what it looks like in person I think it looks quite cool but anyway <laughs> back to the figures so we've obviously got them in these kind of unique boxes like just black with Evangelion written on them. Obviously we've got the same advertising on the back here and there's nothing too special about that. But yeah, they are some really strange boxes to me. When I first saw them I actually thought that these were knockoff figures or something. But yeah, apparently not, you know, they've actually got the stickers on them. Like I knew when I bought them that they weren't knockoff, but when I first saw them, people unboxing them and them turning up in stores, I did think that. But yeah, clearly not. I think that, you know, they just went for a simplistic, minimalistic box, which is totally fine. Obviously, you want your figure to kind of shine through as the main thing. So let's get Unit Zero out of its packaging here. And this is obviously depicting the scene where they're fighting Ramiel and she's kind of defending unit one. So a ton of plastic again and you know I love that keeps the figure nice and crisp. So there she is and she's got a little bit of plastic on this bit I'll just grab that there we go. So yes this looks like a, quite a nice figure. Um, we've got her holding up the shield We've got kind of a lot of detail in the front and not so much in the parts that maybe you shouldn't see. It seems like a lot of grey just behind the shield. And there's some writing on the bottom here. I'm not sure what that says. If somebody wants to let me know, it'd be pretty easy to, for someone to work out, I think. Obviously a copyright and something. But uh, yeah. So yeah, very, very detailed like they are advertised. But uh, I am noticing that there is quite a lot of grey behind that shield when they probably could have done something with it. But anyway, let's move on to Unit 1. Obviously, he's kind of the main event of this. Uh, I'm really excited to unbox him. Unit 1 has always enthralled me. It's just like such a cool... Well, not Gundam, but... You know, because they're not Gundams. But <laughs> he just looks really cool is what I'm trying to say. So let's get him out of his box. Obviously we just got like tape on the sides, nothing special about that either. And these boxes are actually really easy to open. And if you wanted to preserve them, you definitely could. Like all you'd have to do is just keep the back and they would slide right back in there. And yeah, you could keep them in box if you wanted. But anyway, we got unit one and yeah, he's uh, got an AT field of plastic around him and the stand's kind of gone off so unit one uh unit zero seemed to be kind of stuck on the stand already like pretty firmly but not unit one so we've got a massive umbilical cord i did not expect this to be on here i'm really unsure about what to do with that because obviously that's not going to plug into anything so that's a bit strange but man look at the vibrancy on this figure. We'll just get his stand here if I can find it. So he's just got the three foot holes. So two at the front, one at the back. Fortunately he doesn't just want to slide on there nicely for me and that could be the reason why he's not on his base. I think they would have been better off actually putting some holes where the sniper vehicle things sit, like the stand of the sniper. So he's back on there relatively well now I think, but 
yeah, definitely some more footholds for other parts of him would have been a nicer touch, I think, because he kind of just doesn't want to sit on there. But that's, yeah, probably as good as I can get it right now. So let's jump over to the showcase. We'll look at unit zero first, and you can see that this is really vibrant. You can see the charring around the shield as well as the heat level of the shield and how it's kind of melting. Unfortunately on this back bit, they just left it gray and I feel like that is a real detriment to this figure because everything else is really well detailed. And I did pay, I think about $45 for each of these. I thought they were gonna be a bit bigger. So I will say I am a little disappointed at that price, but they are very vibrant. They are very crisp. There is no sort of scuffs or blemishes on them. And even on the stands, I think the stands are, you know, very plain. However, you know, I can't really complain about that perfect size for these little figures. But you can see here just a grey back, just black or anything would have been perfect to put on here. And yeah, I feel, oh man, I feel like it kind of spoils it for the whole model because yeah, th this is all very vibrant. And then we just have, yeah, that horrible gray on the back. But obviously, you're not going to be looking at that gray, so it's not all that bad. There's also a little bit of green on top of Unit Zero's head here, which I'm trying to pick up. I'm not sure if that is going to pick up, but maybe if we're lucky, it will. There we go. So they've got that shiny green, just like in the anime, so that's perfect. Now on to unit one, and you can kind of see maybe there's a blemish around that leg. We'll come back to that in a sec, but overall very vibrant, just like unit zero. Perfect pose for him. I love how he's kind of picking up the sniper rifle. I think that's a really nice touch. Obviously, there's a special place in my heart for unit one. I just, yeah, I've always been in love with his figure and the way that he looks, but you can see on this leg that there's some grey and I'm not 100% sure if they just didn't spray it pro properly or it's meant to be like that. You can also see it on the front foot. So for $45 for such a small figure that is, you know, written on its box that it's supposed to be ultra detailed. Um, yeah, just, just wondering about that. Obviously the umbilical plug is... Yeah, really nice. Looks really accurate to the shows and movies as well. I feel like Unit 1 also does. I feel like this is the sniper from the movies and not the anime though, because I don't remember him picking it up in the anime. But, you know, all that aside, I think that he is a really decent figure. Together, they kind of look a bit odd because it is actually pretty hard to display them together with their stands. So I feel like this is how they're meant to be. Maybe the sniper's meant to be the other side. I'm not 100% sure. If I had the choice of picking up these figures again, to be honest, I probably wouldn't, even though I am a big Evangelion fan. Um, I think that just a little bit of lacking of detail, and it's because they're such small figures that that little bit of lacking just kind of has put me off, unfortunately. I will keep them and display them, of course. All right, guys, that has been a look at these four figures. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have. So please leave me a like. That really helps me out a lot. Share this with someone who you think would enjoy it, as well as leave me a comment. I love it when you guys leave me comments and, you know, it's nice talking to everybody down there. So please do that. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. We're hopefully going to be unboxing some more figures like these, maybe some more expensive ones again. But um, if not, we'll be unboxing some more Spawn figures. So please do subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.